little differentiation between any of the waves that were ridden. So many of the waves looked very, very similar, didn't they? They did, and back into live action now, and this is Heat 2, Kanoa Igarashi. Number two on the Jeep leaderboard. He was surgical over there at Karamas. Basically mistake-free on finals day. Really didn't catch too many rails. Ollie Bailey up and riding on this one. Again, a similar type of turn out of the top into a similar type of turn on the inside. And then that nice little third, yeah, very similar type of rise. Maybe a little cleaner on the face. Solis might have been a little bigger, but there's a point of difference with the backhand attack from Diego Dora. A couple of finals in my first year kind of made me feel pretty confident that I was in, within shot, you know, and I had a chance of succeeding and staying in there. I know which win is the most special. We'll get back to that in a moment. As we see on the outside, Solly Bailey, who's done some great free surfing out here at Mainbreak, and the lead up to this event starts with a committed carve. Plenty of talk in this guy's surfing. The surfer from Byron Bay. Representing his country and his Aboriginal heritage. His Indigenous heritage has the, the flag on his shoulder. <laughs> it's so good, isn't it? And he was always determined, always destined to do this. He always wanted it from a very young age. And it seemed earlier, the thing I love about this ride is there is a little, he's taking his time a little more and there is a little more composure. Sometimes at Bells Beach and in some heats, you can see the dissolve. <laughs> it's like a two and notes preview down there. Peter King filming John John. Kelly Slatter and John having a laugh. Kelly's gonna have to rebound through the elimination. Second round as we see Solly Bailey. Vicious on the rail out here at the moment. 2015 Australian Indigenous Surfing Champion. Oh. Surfing in his fourth championship tour event. Than he had previously. See here, nice big wrap. Little punctuation at the end of it, and then into this one. Just drives the rail around, nice and powerful into this one, little vertical. And then in this little hit here, snap. Beautiful, clean surfing, four nice turns onto the dry shelf. But uh, we'll see him consolidate that lead. Putting a lot into it, isn't he? And, and, and it's, like I said, at times he puts too much and it, 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 it can wreck the flow. But I think he's finding the tempo just right here in this heat. And you see him get low, compressed, and then just flare that tail out of the top. And well, to yeah. fly that flag. I know, I know Robbie Page, for example, would have loved to have had a jersey. Getting right through to that inside. Kano Igarashi. Bit of a wobble off the bottom there. He doesn't like it. He gets out of it. Some of the other participants, with all due respect, look quite terrible. And the equipment looked so not dialed into what was there at Bells Beach. John John just looked at home. We're getting our eyes back on the lineup now. Yago Dora gets the fins free for a moment at the start of that ride. Gets a completion there. Had a 5.33 opener. This is the danger man for Solly Bailey. First turn, little drift out of the top. Wasn't much in the bottom turn, so didn't get, it wasn't that critical a turn. But the way he connected the second into the third and making that combination of turns work together, I think was, uh, he really used what was on offer very well. Driving, couple of little pumps, mid-face turn, three quarters of the way down, slides the tail across the lip. And then this bottom turn was deep and strong. Went out a little wider, just drove it down the face rather than up into the lip, and so that he could connect with that last section and make the whole thing come together. Solly Bailey has the lead. The last way for Yago came through at a four, so Kano Igarashi with a bit of work to do here. Needs a 5.01, he has priority making his move here. Driving up into the lip. Nice transition turn. So much variety in his surfing. This wave has been tricky to read pace-wise. Manages to squeak in one last final slash before the rock shelf there. 5-0-1, the ask, and uh, quite possible. Your opponents are getting fours and fives. It doesn't matter. It's like, get as many four and fives as you want. I'm going to sit with priority because I'm looking for something better than that at the end of the heat. Let's look, a couple of pumps, and then that first term was really kind of not committed. That one was way better, a lot more commitment in that little punch out of the lip. And I suppose if we were to put the type of surfing that Kanoa does into boxing turns, a jab's got to come back as fast as it goes out, and that's exactly the way Kanoa surfs. He jabs that thing consistently, and because you're jabbing it, you're coming back at, 
and out of it as quick as you go in, it means there's opportunity for more to, to take place. And he's, 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 the speed that he has between turns and in transition is one of the secrets to his success. I really feel like you, you hit the nail on the head there. In transition, he's still doing turns that are going to collect points, but generating speed to get to his next manoeuvre. Mm. Some surfers get really focused on, on that major move. He's happy to kind of pace himself through a rider and show you great variation. Those coming off a win, you've got that confidence. You know what you do is good enough. You know it's enough. So that takes that pressure off. You don't have to try too hard. Don't have to try and you know, just have to do what you do because you know that it's enough. And that certainly was maybe the turn of the heat. How is the drive? And around this section, one more beautiful flaring turn and another one. Beautiful wave. That's got to be the ride of the heat and the momentum from the one before, jumping from third into second, seeing a, a, a smaller opportunity that no one else wanted and just slamming that door. Sometimes it just, it, it's the sort of thing that lights you up, lights the judges up. That turn was beautiful, carved down to the bottom. Then he just threw the tail. This was one of those waves that just reeked of confidence. You just tell, hey, I know what I've got and what I've got's good enough, so take this. Wah! Yeah, he, he's kind of undeniable when it comes to the scoring. He's always placing his board in, in the most critical part of the wave. Everything's so clean. Exactly. And it's always on top of the water, isn't it? There's never that down in the water, slowing down, losing speed, as we were talking about before. He's coming out of turns with acceleration and opportunity for the next, and then he links all of those dots together into a beautiful performance. And something about a pro-surfing life that teaches you some of those lessons Solly Bailey there had a look at one on the inside. But again, this back end, is, it, it, it's going to be won and lost with the management of priority. That's what it's going to come down to. And who makes the best decisions with that priority at the end? And, uh, well, ain't going to be Yago Dora on that particular one. Well, look out. Here goes Yago. And he's looking at one of those rare event lefts. Well, when you're free surfing, you, you have a look left. But... Generally in the contest, people don't do it too often. Yeah, he is, and he's that good. And, and he's been doing what he's been doing essentially without his air game, which is even a bigger compliment because he's got a great air game when he employs that. Lining it up. A little caught behind here for a moment, and he's going to duck under this one. So a priority blunder there from the heat leader. Well, Solly scrambling into this one. He just wants to push a requirement higher for Yago Dora here. Trying to better... Uh, well, he's not going to, and he's left five. the door open, and Yago's got priority. Sorry, Blakey, but this is an exciting moment. There is an opportunity here. Here goes Yago having a look. You can see Kanoa's, he's waffling around on the inside, trying to pressure him into it to make sure he goes. He wants it, though. Yago drawing off the bottom into this first section. Nice transition here. Running out of room to move, though. Gets back out in front. And it looks like he won't get the number he needs to get ahead of Solly Bailey. Kanoa Igarash is going to hold on to the lead here. Pretty solid performance there from Kanoa. Maintaining that form, that consistency, that run to get himself into the round of 32. Yago is going to have to rebound out of that dreaded second round and try and avoid a 33rd. Solly Bailey, nice effort from him to finish up in second spot there.